Look at this new herb patch that we have. Patch number 10 for herbs, bro. Oh my. Unfortunately, we'll be done herb lore pretty soon, but eh, I guess this will probably be a PB for me. Just this first run here with the patch, I wouldn't even really know. Will we hit over 110? Huh, looks like we got exactly 110. I don't think that's actually a PB, but close enough. Okay, we really do have a lot to uh, discuss. Not that I've written down most thing, most most things, most things, but uh, kind of have like a grand idea of what I'm going to talk about probably in this ramble video. Oh my god, it's been like two years. Nice dancing to get the necker. I hate the freaking pathing in this game still. Yeah, I think I said I'd record a ramble at the start of this year. It kind of went south, and I think I said the same thing last year, and that never happened. So it's been probably about two years since I've actually just sat down and talked. Uh, which is weird because it used to be something I did very commonly, but for some reason I just stopped. So first things first, let me see if I can pull it up actually. Uh, as you can probably tell by the title or the thumbnail at least, somebody has finished 200 mil all as a hardcore Iron Man, and that is none other than fifth hardcore Iron Man. Lol. I don't know if it, I, I'm assuming it's actually his fifth hardcore. I'm not really too sure. I don't know if he's ever done like a Q and A about like everything that he's done or whatnot, but uh, I'm assuming it actually is his fifth. And unlike my hardcore Iron Man, he's actually got uh, some PVM stuff, I'm pretty sure, on his account. I'm not too sure exactly how much he's done. I don't think he's actually doing any PVM as of right now. I think he's just going to chill. I don't know if he's done anything since to him actually, but uh, new skill sailing will be coming out, I want to say next year, but it could be the end of this year, who knows. Uh, let's minimize a little bit of this, just because I feel like I'll be going to the high scores a little bit on this, you know, so just trying to make it not so crap looking on the screen, but um, yeah, congratulations to him. I am little cute noob way down here, even though it's only two places down, but it's uh, like, he ain't that far from being like double my XP at this point, looks like. If I remember looking at this correctly, I think he was actually maybe one of the first accounts to ever do top page in every stat. Obviously, it's very niche on a hardcore Ironman high list, high scores list, because it's just not that many people that do it. Uh, but cool side effect is his lowest rank is 24 in thieving. Obviously, way harder to do on a main account, so that's pretty excusable for the mains. Uh, UIM, I'm not sure if this has been done, and I don't know if it can be done at this point. But, uh, yeah, pretty pretty cool looking. So, I actually haven't uploaded on this Hardcore Iron Man for probably, like, a few months now. Mostly because the last few months, I spent my time doing Tempo Ross, uh, boss. And I did a lot of it. I did about 16,000 permits, I think. And just doing a little bit each day, then having to stream something else. It made it go very slow, whereas I couldn't just no life it. I think it's like 300 hours of temp or something. It's around 50 points an hour, 50 permits, maybe 60. I don't do the fire whatever crap, the fireman crap, because it's just not worth the XP at all there. Uh, so I just did like normal like solo temp. And uh, yeah, I guess you'll see the results at some point. Who knows? Maybe I got the pet. Maybe I didn't. And the Iron Man down there has also not uploaded for a while. It's been doing a lot of AFK stuff the past like two or so months. I don't think I've released a collection long video for about two months. I do have one that I'm working on. It's going to be a video that probably takes like three or four months to put together. It's mostly just me AFKing, so don't actually expect three or four months of progress. And there's just going to be me AFKing dark crabs. I recently fished like 100,000 dark crabs, a little bit over 100,000. Uh, and now I actually, since the clue update, which we'll probably talk about at some point in this video, uh, this clue update where you just juggle clue, oh wait, I'm literally holding a clue by accident, uh, where you just juggle clues around the whole time, yeah, it's probably one of the biggest updates, at least for Iron Man, this, I wouldn't even say year, because the year just started, but the past, like, year and a half, maybe, or something like that, I don't know what really beats it when it comes to, like, Iron Man collection logging, having this to just be droppable and... Fake stackable. I think at some point we might get stackable clues. I don't know. This could be the um, maneuver into pulling it, which I don't think they needed to even do. If they just pulled stackable clues, I think it would have passed anyways. Especially with the 70% threshold now, just for sailing, you know. Can't believe they lowered the uh, percent. Did I just not get that kill? Who touched it, bro? Sailing is actually a skill we should probably discuss especially at the starting of this ramble just because i feel like it's a pretty it's not a hot topic actually right now because it it came out it was a hot topic i missed the chance to make a ramble and then it just died and jags hasn't released any information on it since so uh it's definitely not a hot topic at the moment but i don't really care we'll talk we'll talk about it
Now, initially, I was definitely for sailing, I believe. I think I've changed my mind on it. I think when I made the video of me discussing sailing, in that video, I started to realize this isn't going to work. I think at like, the end of that video, I was like, I don't know what they're going to actually do. This is kind of weird. And by my understanding of sailing as of right now is it will be a very pointless skill. Now, maybe I'm out of the loop on it, but I want to compare sailing kind of to like the teleportation skills. I know right now I'm on Arceus and who knows where all these teleports even are, but um, the way they're kind of describing sailing by the sounds of it is like you take a ship to go to an island that has nothing to do with sailing, but it's an island. So you sailed there, I guess, even though you could take an airplane there, but not a RuneScape. Maybe one day. But yeah, you basically take a ship to an island and then the island has everything on it that has nothing to do with sailing, basically. Like, Valamore just got released recently, if that's even how you pronounce it. It's basically a big island that you could have sailed to, but instead they added teleports there. So I guess there's no need for the sailing skill to be added, I, I guess. But yeah, their description of sailing was sail to islands and do things on the island that are like, what, PVM related, maybe Slayer related, who knows, boss related in general. And I'm just sitting there thinking, why don't you just add a teleport to the island instead of making me sail there? And then you don't have to add a whole new skill. But it's like, I, I guess they have to hit the threshold of new updates, especially big ones. It's great advertising for the game, blah, blah, blah. But it's making me really wonder, what is the point of sailing? If, like, if we had no teleports on RuneScape, then I would understand sailing to be a huge skill because it aids every, everything else you do in the game. Getting somewhere quicker by just doing the sailing skill would make sense, but unfortunately, we already have teleports and we have jewelry, and there's no need to make me take a ship somewhere. Like This ain't real life. You don't have to make me take a ship to an island. You can add a teleport there, Jax. It's, it's, it's your own game, bro. Create it. You don't need to make it realistic. So yeah, that's my current understanding of sailing is their idea is, and by the way, the, the way you train sailing looks very boring. You're just on a ship and it's like moving left and right and you're like, go right, go left. And, and that's how you get XP, I guess. I don't, like that sounds like the most boring thing to train. It sounds like your typical like bank skill almost, but it's a ship skill, I guess. Instead, like when you take out 14, 14 and you make potions, that's almost what it sounds like. It might be more interactive. I ain't gonna lie. Sailing looks like it's gonna be a bit more interactive, but ultimately, Looks like it's going to be a pretty boring skill, to be honest. And I kind of wish I didn't make... Well, I, I'm happy I made the video. I mean, hey, free money, you know what I'm saying? But I kind of wish I came to, like, this conclusion earlier in that video and maybe discussed it in a different way. But, uh, yeah, as of right now, I, I'm i totally for a new skill. In fact, I think Invention would have been a great one, which I don't think... It, I think it was called Shamanism for old school, not Invention, which is, like, the same thing by my understanding. It's basically a way you just add, like, perks onto weapons... Uh, which, when you think about it, the new armor that they released recently, I think if you wear the set effect that actually has almost what you could call like an invention perk, it's just a set bonus that does something else for you, which ultimately that, that's like what the invention kind of perks were anyways. It does something to your weapon that normally doesn't happen or your armor. But yeah, as of right now, everything they mention about sailing, I just literally think to myself, hey, instead of making me sail, add a teleport. You're going to explore these new islands. Add the island, not the ship. We don't need the ship. Just add the island. You have all these ideas for an island. Add it. We don't, we don't need a ship to get there, bro. Like, what are we going to do? Sail to an island to find a ship wreckage and to fix that ship there and to ship and then take that ship and like go somewhere else with the ship. And like, I don't know. It sounds horrible, bro. I ain't going to lie. This is going to be a flop in my opinion. Now, since we touched up on Valamore a little bit, I don't want to, like, talk about sailing for too long because I feel like there's probably some better, more interesting topics to talk about in this video. Whereas, like, sailing, I'm probably just going to repeat myself for the next 20 minutes, I would imagine, because it's, like, mind-boggling how dumb it's probably going to be. Uh, so we'll just move forward, but I guess if you have any suggestions for sailing or what you think it's going to be like, comment below. But at the moment, I'm on the, uh, I'm on the don't add that crap uh, ship, if you will. Now, Valamore that got released recently, I'm probably not going to talk much about the Colosseum because I have not done it and it looks like another Inferno for me to learn and I haven't even done that. So we'll probably just ignore that and we'll talk about the Barrows 2 bet that basically came out. And I did actually do some very recently on my hardcore. Unfortunately, this might be a bit of a leak for the next freaking like collection, not collection long video, the next hardcore Iron Man video, which might almost be like a collection long video, I guess, but... Um, I actually did some, I don't know how, what the, like, is it KC Lunar Chess? Like, I don't, how do you do, oh, nice. That's a leak completely. But yeah, if you've been watching the streams, you know that we've been going intense PVMing. We've been doing some things. 
Um, I wish I released like a progress video on this account before a ramble, but I just felt like the ramble was easier to put together right now than putting all the clips together and getting a thumbnail. So we'll just stick to this for now. But uh, there is a video in progress that should be uploaded probably like within a week, I want to hope, if not within like two weeks. I didn't read much about this place when it like was being mentioned about it coming out, but um, this place is pretty huge for the Blood Moon like gear. It is basically like not Bandos, it's like Bandos Strength Bonus, which is like the only reason why you'd really want to wear Bandos anyways. But it had, well, minus the really good range defense. Um, I got this recently, the Blood Moon Tacits. And believe it or not, these are two strength bonus, just like the Bandos Tacits. And something I found very insane, it doesn't have crazy high defenses. But if you look closely, there's freaking 32 mage defense on these things, which I thought was wild because normally melee armor with strength bonus has never had mage defense. And this one does. And I've been recently working on the... Um, Serachnus boss pet on the hardcore and uh, well I mean I'm doing it mostly for the red spider eggs, but I want to kind of just say that I'm also going for the pet as well because why not but That gear is gonna be amazing. I feel like for Serachnus at the moment I'm using carols and a cudgel to kill it and I believe also when you wear uh, Like this entire set which is actually an entirely good set uh, Especially this I'm mostly here for these things they are crush, they are 4 tick, which is surprising. 121 crush and 81 strength, which is massive. And it's 4 tick, which I thought it was going to be 5 tick, but it's 4, so that's pretty insane. Uh, but if you wear this and the entire outfit, you get like a set effect, which is like an extra successful hit or something, or I think it's 1 tick faster, maybe. Yeah, I think it's 1 tick or what? Yeah, 3 ticks instead of 4 ticks, but it's like not all the time. Either way, these weapons right here are already amazing for that boss, let alone the armor, like, effect on top of it. Let alone the armor having crazy high mage defense. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of just going for this full set, I think. I don't think it's that hard to complete the, uh, like, Barrows 2 or Lunar Chest, whatever you want to call it. The top has 40 mage defense and, uh, and 4 strength, which is the same as Bandos, so... I guess you can retire your torso if you ever get this. There's probably no need for it, minus the like master clue scroll thing. Which, by the way, they added a like, new master and elite like stash unit, and they're not very easy to get, as far as I'm aware. One of them are very hard to get, I think I, I was told. So uh, that is not that's not going to be good because I also had a lot of um, clue scrolls to open up on both my accounts, and now that there's a master stash, I can't even do. Seems kind of pointless to open up any clue scrolls on the Iron Man right now because I can't do all the masters, which seems like a waste. The only downside about this armor that I did notice, which might be changed in the future, is it actually does degrade, not to dust, just like Barrow's armor pretty much, where it gets broken, I think. Uh, and it, it's a pretty decent amount of money to actually fix it all. I think it's like 1.5 mil for the whole set in your POH with like 99 smithing. Um, I think this right here is just a guy in Lumbridge, which is like the max amount you would ever pay for it. So uh, that was kind of surprising to find out mid-level gear breaks down and like the end game gear, it doesn't break down, obviously. I think that's kind of backwards. I'm not going to lie. It would make more sense to have mid-level gear not break down because it's like if you have mid gear, it's because you're not end game account. And it's almost like you're punishing them for being mid mid level, and then once they get high level, their shit doesn't break anymore. That sounds backwards in my opinion, but whatever. The the punishment should be end game gear is br like it breaks and needs repairing, not mid level gear. What the heck is this? Either way, it breaks down very slowly. So like I think like within like an hour of using it, I only spent like twenty or thirty k coins to repair the tacits. So. Uh, currently, I'm not wearing them just because uh, I, this is like more chill, honestly. Just using this outfit. Everyone roasts me for not having bandos, but if I had full bandos, I don't even think I'd use it here. I would literally stick to this outfit right here. It looks good. I think the rest of the gear is pretty like mediocre. There's not much else that's going on. These I did get these things here, the uh, the range legs. They have the same range attack as Dehyde, I believe. So I'm probably going to replace my Guthix Dehyde with these. I will actually consider going for Armadil sometime this year, I think. Armadil is a pretty easy, like, like uh, pet to kill. 
Petakill. Oops, Bosta Kill. For the pet, I guess, as well, but uh, just the armor. Just because with the crystal being in the game, it kind of changed a lot of things. I still have a few things I want to accomplish on the hardcore before anything really can go wrong on the account. But at the moment, we're just doing little things that, like, if I disconnect, I should survive. Uh, Serratus was one of them, and now Barrows 2, whatever you want to call it, is going to be the second one. Uh, if I DC at these places, I should survive, so hopefully nothing goes wrong. I haven't DC'd yet, though the servers went offline last night for like a few worlds. That was weird. And if you haven't yet done the uh, Barrows 2 place yet, what's the actual even name? I don't even know what it is, bro. The Lunar Chest, the Barrows 2, whatever, the new place. Uh, it's actually very fun. It's way better than Barrows, obviously, even though it gets compared to it. You basically just gotta kill, like, three different bosses, and then you get to go to, like, the loot chest at the ending. Very similar to Barrows, I guess. It's kind of a bit of a puzzle as well, the entire area. It's not, like, it's always the same path you take, though, pretty much, to complete it. There's no, like, random path, so... Uh, I don't know why it gets compared to Barrows much, but I'm gonna just call it Barrows 2, because the gear is sort of Barrows tier, and the actual doing of the content it seems to be like mid-level Barrows tier type of thing anyways. And from what I've heard or seen, it's actually pretty good prayer XP per hour for, uh, well, Iron Man in general, but hardcore especially. I haven't really learned much about how to use like these bones yet. There's something you do with these bones and you get like these bone blessed shards or something. I don't know, I've heard it's like 30 or 40k prayer an hour, maybe. For, I don't know if that's bullshit or not, who knows, bro, but... Uh, it looks like it is a lot of passive prayer XP in general. So I have like a, like a hundred and something of these bones here, I think. And they give something prayer XP there, so I'm not too sure. But uh, obviously Hardcore Iron Man cannot use any bones uh, in the wildy for the most part. You kind of can, but not really. Uh, it's not very practical, at least, if you want to stay hardcore. So we kind of just have to do either what I'm doing right now, which is the Ash spell. Which came out way too late. Uh, or, I guess, that method there. So, maybe a bit of passive prayer XP I'll be getting from uh, doing some of the barrels too. Alright, I did want to discuss something. Let me try to find the... Uh, where is the results? Undead, is this it? No, where is it exactly? There was a, um, a poll recently that finished with the... Uh, it had, like, PvP-related stuff in it. But not PvP-related, just, like, wilderness stuff. Not PvP, I guess. Let me rephrase that. Uh, I think most of the PvP things actually didn't pass, and the wilderness stuff did. If I'm correct, I think this is the right poll here. Though, when you look at this page here, you, it's kind of hard to tell what passed and didn't, because this says 65%, but I believe this did pass because of the 11% from skip the question. So I think this actually would have passed with like 6% over or something. But uh, I, yeah, I think most of these passed. The Shibley thing did not pass. Uh, hmm... So, when I voted for this, I actually did vote yes for the Chivalry Prayer to be, like, changed a little bit. Uh, it is very dead content. It would be useful to make it useful. But, I think because it's one of those things where it's like, you obviously decide that you're a peer and adding or adjusting the game to your play style, your, you know, account that you purposely restrict yourself on, is maybe why people voted no on it, so I kind of understand that one, but... I didn't really care if it passed or not, but as of right now, it did fail. I do believe they added hard clue scrolls to the uh, pick, not pick bottom, the chest opening, the rogues chest, whatever it's called. Uh, I want to predict that might actually be one of the best ways to get hard clues on like an Iron Man now, because you could use like a Ring of Wealth there now too. I haven't asked anyone, but I'm assuming. I mean, if you're gonna like do methods for clue scrolls, you may as well get two intermal thieving while you're at it and do the wieldy chest. So if you are like a collection logger on an Iron Man, might be worth doing the rogues chest for a lot of the hard clues to be honest. Not all of them, but like, you know, for if instead of killing green dragons all day or hellhounds all day or Sarantras all day, you can do some thieving and maybe get two intermill or some crap. But uh, on my Iron Man, I don't really care for XP, so I don't think I'll be doing that, but uh, yeah, now this one did fail here, which I actually wanted it to kind of maybe pass, but not really. They were going to make it so you could alk like 30 items in one click at the Fountain of Rune in the Wilderness. So would have been nice for Iron Man, obviously, where we have like unlimited amount of like things we have to alk all the time. And you could have alked almost all of them in just like one click. It failed by a little bit, not too much. I'm not too mad about it, but it would have been kind of nice to have. I think you just have to have, like, the Wildy Diary. I think it scales with your Wildy Diary, but either way, it did not pass. But would have been kind of nice. It would have also been, like, not game-changing, but everything that right now gets alked in the game is worth quite a bit less than what it's supposed to be worth, just because 
I guess Alk bots that don't really they exist, but I don't think they exist for a bunch of members items just because you have to pay membership then. So it's probably less likely that they will be uh alking like a membered item. Maybe like rune two handers aren't too much below. I'm not really too sure. Yeah, these aren't too much. Uh, that's still quite a bit of profit. I think nature's like a hundred each, so Profiting hundreds of GP per Alk is crazy because I know when old school came out, you would lose like 100 or 200 GP per Alk. The other big one I think was the Wilderness Agility course is going to be getting buffed quite heavily. Uh, it's going to be, I don't want to say like worth doing, but it's going to be, uh, I mean, you know what? It might almost be worth doing if you don't want to do Sepulcher. Uh, I would probably do Wilderness Agility over Artie, if anything, but I don't believe it's going to give you crystals. I mean, actually, is it? I don't know if this passed or not. Looks like it actually might have. I'm not too sure. No, it probably didn't. But yeah, I think they said like two or so mil an hour, two to three mil an hour in the Wilderness doing um, Agility. So that is like, I don't know how much raw GP is going to come from that, but that could be a crazy like method for early Iron Man to go and make money. Now, obviously, I know we start as a hardcore, so it won't really be any benefit to me, but if you're an Iron Man or going to make one in the future, Wilderness Agility Course might be crazy big because uh, you can do it at like 50 agility and you can already start making a bunch of money. I mean, I literally did like uh, agility at the desert, that little, uh, the pyramid. I did that for like my first one mil cash on like most of my Iron Man accounts. Look at this. Nice and four hard clues. This juggling thing is insane, my guy. It is freaking game changing i think we gotta do like a herb run oh that reminds me there's a, actually let's just do an entire herb run oh dude the biggest update of the year i don't even know like how this was possible from them but look at this it's just oh bro that is so oh i'm actually jealous because being someone who has to do a herb run pretty like commonly and then trying to do any pvming in between is very annoying i keep forgetting to not bank that seed i recently made it worth draw 10 so it's kind of getting weird um Okay, there we go. Yeah, one of the most annoying things when doing like either some PVMing and some herb runs is the rune pouch just getting screwed up all the time, having to swap your runes out. But now, basically presets, and it's it's not even like a it's like a crazy preset where it actually changes them inside of the pouch for you. So there's this is one click, two clicks. This is crazy, bro. But yeah, we do have a uh, new herb patch, so we have ten total seeds as you guys saw earlier. I think. Uh, there's probably a quicker way to get to that one. As of right now, I haven't unlocked any teleports on the new island yet. So uh, at the moment, this is how I get there. I just, not, not that's not the fair ring. I think I favored it recently. I AJP just changed the middle, I think, like once. And then you just run north, west, I believe it is up there. So it's not even that bad to get to from here. I don't know if there's a better meta. There's got to be some quicker way to get there. I just don't really know yet. Probably here. That's like a bird teleport. Is there an easy way to get to a bird like instantly? Maybe this teleport here? I, I don't know. I seen it's like on regular spell books for that teleport, I think though. Only thing they gotta change is this leprechaun is in the worst pot. Like who who put this leprechaun here, bro? It's like in the worst spot for three patches minus this. You could have put it anywhere else and you put it over there. Did this game have like six herb patches when it first came out? I think, isn't that? six patches the original i think i don't hold on let's let's take a small look here hold on i want to move this over because it's like almost doubled at that point then eh? uh one two three four five was it five really one two yeah we didn't have wise core harmony farming guild uh or that new one isn't that five things? Wait, did we really have five patches when the game first came out? I thought it was six. Okay, well, wow. So the patches have doubled them, exactly doubled. If I'm if I'm right, I might. I swear I'm brain farting. Is there not six? Maybe there was just five. Now, when it does come to my herb XP, oh, on the other hand, I've also been working on the Herby pet on this account because I want to get uh, a bunch of things done with before I'm two hundred mil hunter, basically. So a Herby, and there's a new hunter pet now too, like the fifth hunter pet or something. What is up with that? Uh, I'll be going for that eventually too, but as of right now, let's take a look at my banked... <clears throat> Sorry, hiccup. Uh, this is like a bunch of neck reels I've killed, but if you want to take a look at it, you go for it, bro. Uh, where is my banked XP, bro? I... Herblore. Okay, so our banked XP right now is 180 mil total if I use everything, so I have 90... Yeah, pretty much 90 mil XP banked. 
Uh, this is without doing any of the barbarian potions, obviously, because it's not on this list at the moment. Maybe they'll add it in the future, who knows, but... Uh, yeah, 20 mil Herbalore XP away, and I have a lot of Hunter to still do at the uh, Herbivore place, so... I probably am 200 mil Herbalore, to be quite honest with you. I don't really know how much more I have to do. Uh, I just don't think I'm going to make that many Barbarian Potions. I want to keep all the Staminas on this account as normal Staminas. Just a weird niche thing, because I just... I like collections on, like, an Iron Man. And I don't want to have mixes. I don't, but, yo, know, check out my Stamina mixes. I want normal Staminas, bro, so... I'm not gonna make too many of those into mixes. I'm gonna make my magic potions into mixes and probably like my strength and attack potions. Though attacks are kind of lame to do, like 30 XP per potion, I think. Uh, so strengths for sure and maybe defenses as well then at that point. But um, yeah, I think if I just use all my fish right now, I actually could be Twitter Mill Herb because I think I have like 300,000 fish in the bank. And uh, I think I could make a lot of potions that would have given me 60 XP each roughly. And if you've been watching the streams, it won't be a leak, I guess. And plus, we're pretty far into the ramble video by now, I'm sure. So I don't really mind leaking it. But we did do the giant mole grind recently. I wanted to finish mole before I keep doing more birdhouse runs. So I have all the uh, bird's nests I need that I'll be getting for herbal grind. So uh, we did actually finish it. We are green logged at mole. I won't tell you the KC we got the pet on. But if you look me up, you'll probably see the exact KC because I didn't do a single one after. Well, I just did like four or something five contracts in a row it's been a while since i've seen this many completables has been on a roll i'm actually very close to being done farming contracts forever i will actually give you guys an update let's see how many we've done jenger berries that's not too bad uh, i think i'm almost at sixteen thousand. if anything how many have we completed jagex fifteen thousand six hundred contracts i do think sometime in like who's this following me you rat Yes, thank you. As I was saying, I do think I'll be opening up these mole things very, very soon. Oh no, he showed up. He wasn't supposed to show up. Pretend you didn't see that. Uh, opening these up and then also the uh, the spirit seeds that I have. I think I have 300 here and like 200 and something more in there. I, I think I showed up my bank video, I kind of forget. But very soon I'll be doing all those because you can get a ton of uh, seeds from just those contracts. Here's also a small update on the caskets ever since you can start storing them sort of or dropping them uh i think i've gained like 30 or so hards so far 30 something maybe i'm not too sure but it's been uh quite easy to get them so many eggs can't wait to use those soon oh and the best part about this update was i put this off for a long time doing these totems but now that you pretty much can dc and survive it made this boss very safe and now that clue scrolls are stackable, you can actually do a lot of these. So, uh, it, once again, bro, just waiting to do things is the best way to play the game, apparently. Everything just gets easier and easier. So, these totems, at some point in the future, I will be doing them. And I will be doing the clue scrolls that come along with most of them. So, uh, I actually do will these steps, but just not the ones that are like... I even do some multi ones, but only if there's a teleport I can click on right away. Otherwise, I'm not feeling that. Like the dark... Warriors Fortress one I do, the Western Green Dragon one I do, or Eastern, whatever. It's the one where you go from Corp and you go East. Uh, I think that's multi, like near the Black Salamanders. Uh, I do the one normally by the Rogues area, I think, with the Zamrak Mages there near the Obelisk. I think that one I've done a few times. Um... Not too many more that are like in multi. The other ones are all pretty easy that are not in multi. I sometimes don't like doing the ones that are deep wildies, no matter how safe they might kind of feel. I don't, I just don't want to be that far out there, bro. Oh, I forgot to. Damn it. Right, let's pull up our uh, stats real quick and see where we currently are on the hardcore. It's been a while since I've done like uh, the last thing I was doing was working on 50 mil base and then 60 mil base. But uh, obviously we got a few 60 mils and then we kind of just stopped because I think the Iron Man uh, just took priority for a little while. So I've been kind of slacking slash MIA on this account. Uh, but like I said, I would spent the past like two or three months at temp just doing a bunch of fishing crap. So uh, as you see, the fishing XP as of right now is 182 mil. Very close to 200 mil, and then we'll be done with it forever, hopefully. Uh, I'm also, I guess, training some defense and prayer right now. Obviously, already have 60 mil prayer, but after 60 mil everything is 70 mil everything, so it doesn't really hurt to just start training some prayer for now. 
I just wanted to kill a few Necreals to get some, like, seeds, because I, I kind of just hate doing no Herb runs. Relying on just contracts sometimes sucks, because then you stop doing Herb runs for, like, ever. Uh, I just want to do the last bit of Herb runs here and finish off Herb lore, hopefully, so that'll be good. Uh, Magic has not moved in ages. Fletching is still one that we had to do for 60 mil. And Thieving, which is... Both of them are very fast. And then Construction, which is quite fast. So... Uh, I think we're very close to the 60 mil base, and then we'll be the 70 mil, because we finished most of them. I think Agility, Agility we finished recently, actually, not too long ago, so I've done a little bit post then, but that's about it. For runecrafting, I was considering going back to making some blood runes, maybe like another million or something, but I think I'm just going to do ZMI, honestly. I just... If you could fletch while making blood runes, I think I would like to do them, but it's just... It's not very ideal to fletch your broads while doing it, so... Uh, just because of that reason, I'd rather just do ZMI because I don't think I'm going to be able to fletch that much while doing other content. So, uh, great thing though is Herbivore is, or a Hunter, is 127 mil now. And you actually make a lot of fletching stuff when doing Herbivore. So that one is surprisingly going to make me like probably 3 or 4 million uh, headless arrows or 5 million. <laughs> I don't even know how much it is honestly, but it is a lot of fletching that gets done while doing Herbivore. So that'll be nice. Uh, and then once I get the Herbivore pet, I think I'm right now sitting at 2,000 KC Herbie, maybe? Yeah, this has been something I've been kind of working on slowly as well, like on stream in the past little while. No pet yet, unfortunately, but I think it's like 1 in 6,500, so it's actually quite a bit of Hunter XP to get for that one. And then we gotta go and do that new, like, bird thing that came out, uh, the bird pets from Hunter. The, like, I think it's just Hunter contracts you get it from, basically. Yeah, I think this this year I've pretty much just been doing mostly fishing in the past like 300 and something days basically not just this year but um yeah I went from like 120 to like 160 mil or 180 mil so I've gained about 60 mil fishing but that's really been all we've done the account has really not progressed like that much I know it looks like maybe a lot to like an average person but to the people who play all day they have made almost no progress on this account bro I, I think my lead or not my lead, my my difference between rank 2 and 3 now is huge. Speaking of playing a lot, I did recently upgrade to uh, 30 years old. If you maybe you saw on Twitter. Did I post a tweet? I did post a tweet. Uh, I almost forgot if I did or not. I've been so inactive on Twitter these days, honestly. It's kind of a friggin' shithole these days. That's a lie. I still kind of like it. It's just everything is porn, bro. And like, I'm, I'm down, but not all day. I guess since we are on that topic, there is the uh, the lovely tweet. We are uh, we did buy our first car, which I, it's kind of late, honestly. I know. I I guess just not being a content creator, you really don't need much of a car. I mean, I guess getting around and stuff, but I kind of like not having a car because, dude, the amount of money that you save not having a car is ridiculous. I, I if I was to tell you guys how much money I spend right now on uh, insurance for the car it is it's not even like a sports car man. i thought it, it was like yeah don't get a sports car insurance will screw you it, i'm getting screwed anyways it's uh i'm almost afraid to say how much it is but it is uh pretty much five thousand canadian for the year i think so i think when you sign the contract it's pretty much for a year straight so it's like 400 and something per month now i am a male and first time like car owner i guess so uh it's much higher than it should be I'm assuming in like a year from now, the next year will be probably 4,000 for the whole year instead of five. And then maybe like 3,000 a little later on, who knows. But I think on average, people at my age that have been driving for like five or 10 years pay about $200 a month. So hopefully it goes down in the future, but that's a lot. But I will say it is a nice addition. I, I The moment I basically just like went grocery shopping with my mom like every week, I didn't move like very far away from her when I got my house. So... Uh, that was like the main reason. I, I don't think I'd want to move so far from family, honestly. I, not that I see them every day, but uh, just knowing that they're close and stuff is just kind of nice. So, um, yeah, I guess if I, I don't know, if I didn't have like a mom or dad and all that stuff, then maybe I would have moved far away um, just to find yourself or some crap. They say you're, you're supposed to like move far from where you were born just to experience life differently, which I guess I could probably see that to be honest. 
I would say the past like year or so, I've really stepped back from like playing a lot of hours. I think Group Iron Man was the last time I played like a crazy amount of hours every day. I think we were doing like 15 hour days. I'm really happy to be out of that weird slump. That was not fun. It was a pandemic of it. Oh, did I just get demonetized by saying that word? Oh my God. I better not. I swear there's a freaking thing below this. Uh, you know what? Hold on. I'm, re I'm removing that last clip. Okay, just in case this is for the future, I removed a 10 second clip of me saying a word that I don't know if I'm allowed to say. Not because it's a swear word, but because it's, it's, you know that three years that we all had fun in our house, whatever that was called? I said that word and I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. Which by the way, YouTube has not been very friendly in general with some of my videos. I have been demonetized a few times. Luckily the sponsors sometimes make up for any lost revenue from the, uh, the ads, but... A few videos have been, my merch video that did very well, like 140k views, I think, let me try to find it actually how much it did. It got demonetized like the second day I uploaded it. So basically, it made like a tenth of how much it should have made, I think. Let me see if I can find uh, how many views it went to. I forget. Uh, how long? Oh, there it is. 140,000, man. It got demonetized on day two, and I knew it was going to do very well just because it has to do with money and if you watch runescape you are always interested in money i guess i do have another one i'm actually working on almost done um i think i'm at like two bill profit in it so far or something so pretty cool i don't know why i've been trying to make main account gp it is very relevant to me but i guess it's something to look forward to on the side of just playing the iron man but um yeah i couldn't imagine being broke like most of you guys but yeah, I would say I have taken a pretty big step from like playing, a step back, sorry, not step, uh, from playing so many hours. I would say my average used to be probably like 12, and I think these days it really could be like around 8 hours average. I feel like whenever I, the days I stream for like 5 or so hours, I probably only play a few hours in total beyond just the stream. And some days when I don't stream, I play even less just because I don't have to be at home currently, so... I don't know if it's like dudes getting older or something, but uh, it's not like motivation related. I think it's just, I just don't want to focus that many hours into it if I don't have to. But ultimately, I'm still playing a whole lot more than the average per. Actually, you know what? How much does the average person play games these days? It's not two hours. It's not three. It's It probably is like in the four range at least. I don't know. For you guys that have like a full-time job, like the typical normal job, like a nine to five type of thing, or even if you just work different hours, but same amount of hours weekly, roughly. How much do you guys play? Because I'm assuming most of you make up a lot of your hours on the weekends. Don't you dare, like, not add your week. Your weekends is where most of your runescaping happens, let's be honest. If I remember correctly, when I was in, like, high school and crap, I would only play, like, two, three hours a day because you had school, practice, get home, you're tired, you shower, you eat, you play a bit, then you go to bed. But when I was the weekends, bro, that was my time to make up for all the hours I lost during the week. And I'd play like 15 hours Saturday, 15 hours Sunday, which is 30 hours in just those two days. During the week, maybe 15 to 20 hours total played. So uh, my average weekly might have been like 40 to 50 hours played where most of it came from just the weekend. So if you were to add up your current hours played weekly, what would you guys say it probably is? And don't you dare exclude the weekend. Now, it probably makes sense to discuss some goals or something on all the accounts that I'm currently working on. So I guess let's get into it. I haven't really made any like actual, I didn't write anything down as usual, but um, where's the Iron Man been? Because the last collection log video was a while ago, wasn't it? It has been AFK, like I said earlier. I think I had like a small burn on the account. I'm not really too sure. I, I don't normally get like burnt out. I just kind of take small breaks and like play a different account for a bit. The break on the iron is probably, I would say, almost over. I'm going to probably backseat the UIM a little bit again and just have it either logged out or just, I don't know, AFK stars or something, but I'll probably just log out on it. Uh, the Ironman was just slightly I was burnt, but I think I'm kind of... I think the clue scroll dropping stuff has made me want to play it again. I did so much Slayer on that account where I had to leave my Slayer task to go into a clue scroll. And now that you can just juggle them, oh my god, bro. I wish I could undo all that Slayer and just, like, do it now instead of, oh, bro. I got, I'm not even lying, bro. I got genuine depression. You, you would get a clue scroll, go bank all your stuff, go do it, go back to your Slayer task, and then get another clue in, like, four minutes and be like, I don't want to leave again. I just left. I just got back. So that was PTSD right there, just kicking in, bro. I, I just hated it, so it got really annoying. That might have honestly burnt me out. I'm sure I lost some clue scrolls just because I couldn't be asked to, like, go do it in between the Slayer task. Not very fun at all, but now it is very nice. 
By the way, uh, did Jagex mess up the wood cutting? The what do you call it? The um, man, it's in our mini games. Hold on, I'm just double checking here. What is it called, bro? I'm just looking. Hold on, other is it? Um, oh my, forestry. That's a stupid thing. Okay. Did they make forestry collection log almost impossible to complete ever since like, so you used to be able to go from your current world to a different world and a different location. And I don't think you can do that anymore. And I don't know how brain dead you have to be as a J mod at this point to work there, bro. But I don't think they buffed how many randoms you get per hour. The amount of randoms you get per hour is the same, but you cannot hop worlds and do other randoms anymore. Did they just fully nerf the collection log there or am I way out of the loop here because it like I went and chopped teaks for like 15 minutes got one random and then logged out and drove my car to get rid of my depression. You used to do like five like at least five randoms in that time and now I just did one and I don't even know when the next one's gonna spawn did I get unlucky on that one random or is that normal now so I don't even know did they just not think when they change things they don't they definitely don't. But luckily, I did green log forestry on the Iron Man before this update happened. So thank God for that. It didn't take two, it took like three or four days to do it. And I feel like now it would take like a two months to do it. So did I just get mad lucky or something? Because that was that was the worst thing ever, bro. Um, I But yeah, I believe, what's it called? Mage Training Arena is also getting changed pretty soon. Unfortunately, I do have that almost green logged on the Iron Man. I'm missing the boots. I th No, not the boots. The hat. And the gloves, I think it is. I left the like easier items last. Um, I guess I could always do it on the hardcore. That way I like get this nice upgrade there. But it's going to be a lot nicer now, Mage Arena. So shout out to them for like eventually changing it. Uh, I think everything in the poll pass. If not, is it in the polls right now? If, it's going to pass anyways. It's like freaking... I believe there was like a statement put out not too long ago. At least like some people looked it up. Like 99.9% .9 of things pass polls, and the only 0.1% that doesn't really pass polls is basically just wilderness stuff, which doesn't really even count. So, yeah. Like, I think only like two or three things have failed a poll that was not PvP related in the past, like 100 or so polls. So, or the 100 questions, maybe. So, I don't even know, like, if there's any point in polls at this. Is there is there any point of a poll system anymore if it's always going to pass? ones that don't pass is normally wilderness slash pvp related but everything else seems to pass so basically what you want to see in the game as a jmod you would just pull it and it would be added and if you don't want to see it in the game you just don't pull it as a jmod i swear that's what they're doing these dudes really changed the percentage to 70 so sailing would pass and then now we're just stuck with everything passing because it's 70 percent now it's it's kind of weird isn't it like I don't, what's going on here Anyways, here's a small look at the, uh, by the way, the change to this website, great job, whoever like deals with it, it looks amazing, bro. He did a big round of applause if you guys can, thank you. Uh, I have not updated this since 1491 collection log, obviously, so the new stuff that came out recently is not on here, but um, where are we with this? Yeah, so I think here's a forestry, I did complete it uh, in January, like the middle of January, so uh that'll be uh, that video i'm still actually working on so this collection log video is not actually behind it's just i'm still working on it so um yeah happily thank god when did i get my first item? let's see how many days this took me to complete i think i bought the forestry outfit the first no i bought this the first yeah the log sack the log basket whatever is the first thing i bought so i got this on the 12th and i got this on the 13th so two days i completed this entire log i think I don't even know that's possible anymore to do. You know, the last thing I got was a cape pouch. So, yeah, two two days. I feel like it was more three. Maybe this just updates kind of weirdly, but two or three days and the log was done. 23 slots, just like that, bro. Uh, we still have a lot of things to do in this log, honestly. I kind of... I did aerial fishing on the hardcore recently, and I don't know if I want to do it again on this account, bro, but we'll see. Uh, but when I get back to Slayer, we still have to go for a lot of the uh, the pets. But here is... Where is those? Oh, yeah, the new ones aren't down there. Scuzzy looks like a... Or Scurry, whatever. Looks like a pretty fun one to go for. It's pretty, like, AFK from what I've heard as well. And uh, the new pet looks not so bad either to go for. The Hunter one, we'll see how long that one actually takes. I don't think any rates have been released yet. But 
Uh, yeah, 1,100 logs on this account, and we have like 80 or 90 logs just banked at the moment, which we'll probably do very soon, to be honest with you. And then we'll be opening up clue scrolls whenever I actually get the uh, the new items uh, that I need for the master. So as of right now, we are looking pretty okay. I'll probably return to like Slayer PVMing pretty soon in this account because I have a lot of the uh, the Slayer pets to still kind of go for. Not a lot, actually. I have a few to go for at this point, but they're all kind of like dry, aren't they? Because I'm freaking doing Dagonos all day and I'm doing... I'm doing Z uh, Zuck all day. That one's been kind of rough, bro. Uh, Zami is a task I currently actually have. Uh, I think I have two Wildy Pets I still got to go and get. They are both 1500 KC, so I'm not too dry. KBD Pet, I'm like friggin' way above the rate. I don't know where that pet is, but it's an easy pet to get, so I'm not even too worried about that. And, of course, the plans for the Red Helm. As of right now, I'm kind of enjoying playing the Red Helm again. I've been doing chambers on it some cms uh getting the twisted kit thing with bobbers and i would like to get the dusted ohm pet as well on the account at some point so we're just kind of doing a mixture of that Ooh, nice seeds bro toad flax and canadine don't mind if i do thank you but i know the last like ramble video i made on on like in general actually i think i discussed on this account i wanted to get as many pets as I could without it being dangerous pets. Now, this is obviously before the crystal came out. So if disconnections happened, you would have died back then. Now, not so much. But I think, let's take a look at this one. Uh, the pets that we can still get. I did reach 20 pets recently. It's kind of a bit of a leak because one of these pets, none of this one, uh, was not on here recently. But look at the eight flowering pets. Very nice. But... Uh, yeah, I think some of these I can still kind of go for without dying, and some of them are sort of, like, dangerous, but not dangerous, so Sirachinus Pet, I'll be going for still. Uh, Herbie, obviously, we're going for. This new hunting one we'll be going for, I guess. Uh, and I think this one, Scurry, I will probably be going for as well. Why? I have no idea. I've just been kind of bored and thinking, what else could I do besides just going for experience? And these are just kind of some of the things that I kind of came up with, so... Chompy Chick, eh. Temp. Oh, I ruined it. I said, did I get the pet at the start of this video? Well, I guess now you can see. But yeah, as of right now, we're at 20 pets somehow on this account. And there's probably like five more pets we can easily get without anything being dangerous. So uh, that is kind of the goal, just to get uh, these few that are not this one, this one, this one, this one, that one, that one. Maybe even that one. It's maybe like seven or so, but I'm not really too sure, but... Uh, yeah, we'll take a look in the future, see where we are from like a, a few months from now, and then I don't really know. At the moment, we're just skilling off stream and on stream. I'll do some stuff on the uh, the hardcore that is a little bit more fun to watch, maybe. But yeah, I guess I am kind of clogging on the hardcore a little bit. Who knows if I will take it like further into the future or not? But as of right now, it's just something to do because obviously clogs on the Ironman are getting kind of slow, and they're gonna get to the point where it's just gonna be strictly like basically a long-term pet grinding and then obviously clue scroll stuff so clue scroll stuff really just would be forever i i guess like in a perfect world you would want to green log clue scrolls minus like the hard ones here so like i don't know how many mediums it is to green log this this is my hardcore way before the freaking look at that it's 491 with 14 items excuse me uh i guess you could probably green log like this here and oh the easiest is not easy to green log that's like freaking on an Iron Man, dude, that's a really hard one to do. Um, hards, I think a few thousand, you would green log this normally. So a few of these are actually nice to green log. Elite, I don't really know that's too possible on an Iron Man. It would take a very long time. Obviously Master. And then like these ones, just not really too realistic on an Iron Man. So um, basically green log and medium and hard and maybe easy would be the main three that you go for. And then after that, you're basically just doing clue scrolls for the rest of your life, which... I'm not going to lie, it doesn't sound too... Ooh, I just got a medium on the Iron Man. Let me go drop it, thank you. Now I have four. Wait, if I switch screens here... There it is. All right, perfect. Look at that. Four nice, beautiful mediums. This is getting ready to be done. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Oh boy, we have five hard clues now. Probably time to go do some of these uh, soon. The uh, chaos stack is so close to a million. I want to just get it strictly from doing uh, these neck reels. Oh man, it's gonna look so nice. Our day alt, by the way, yeah, this has been going kind of up, pretty much 1.3 mil day alt as of right now. So if I go to ZMI, that's gonna be uh, 
I don't think I'll be 100 mil room crafting with those, but somewhere in the 80s or maybe almost 90 mil. And here's my small little collection, I think, from Killing Neck Reels for the past little while. Not recently, but this is like a long time ago I started this stack. But yeah, 1,500 and 1,100 That's freaking huge. And then, of course, the UIM, which I'm currently not logged into. Just the past few days, I haven't been playing it too much just because it's been kind of annoying to multi-log so much. It is doing Slayer. The videos are catching up on it. I really just, I am very sad about the UIM, just the way it had to take such an unfortunate turn with like, I was so into it, I was uploading, they weren't freaking delayed like at all. And then Group Iron Man came out, and because I play my accounts like multiple at a time, my UIM kept progressing and I never uploaded any videos on it because when Group Iron Man came out, you really couldn't upload a group, like a UIM video randomly, so... I just had to keep uploading group and then the UIM just kept making progress and I kept recording. So the videos just fell so far behind and now every time I upload a UIM video, I'm just like, they're all going to be like, how outdated is this? I don't know. And it, it really did ruin the feeling of like the entire UIM series for me almost because it was something that was, it started off so well and strong and then it just took a big turn because of group Iron Man. So uh the videos are very close to catching up to like relevant and well, not relevant but like i think there's like two more videos i have to put together still and then after that it'll be videos that took like three months to put together and there's probably going to be like two or three of those and then we'll be fully caught up but it still kind of ruins the series just because there's going to be almost too much progress in one video where like as a youtuber you don't want to do that you don't want to put too much progress in a video because that's basically just what you'd call like a loss of revenue. You want to spread it out as much as possible. Because once you get to the end game of an account, there's not so much to record anymore. But yeah, the goal currently on the UIM is I think I, I just don't want to play the game if I'm not maxed. So I think I'm just going to have to max the UIM before I get into the PVMing part of it. It is kind of nice to think about an account that has literally no PVM items and to start going for them. Just because it's like a fresh new start. Like when you get to like end game Iron Man stuff, it really does start to become almost like a main account where you're basically just doing things just to do them where you don't need items from those places anymore and you basically just start doing collection log stuff. So yeah, like whenever you do Tob and you get a purple and you have all the purples, it's like, it's kind of cool still. It's, it feels nice, looks nice in the bank, but that feeling is not the same when you still need purples. Like, if you need a scythe and you have a purple chest at TOB, there's a level of excitement that you don't get anymore once you have all the purples from TOB. Because you just... It, and then that, that relates to any boss, not just Theater of Blood. So, um, there's some kind of, like, exciting feeling about needing items still. So, as weird as it sounds, if your Iron Man is currently crap and devious, be happy about it because you actually have items to still go for. Whereas, like... If you want to just go for gear, obviously there's way more beyond just gear. There's collection log now, so um, there's basically always something to do. But like the level of excitement you get from upgrading your gear is way higher than the level of like getting your thousandth hard clue scroll completed. You know what I mean? Like it's not as much fun. Even getting a third H piece is not that exciting compared to like getting your scythe upgrade, your Tebow upgrade, your shadow upgrade. Those you can't really beat them. So I'm telling you, if you have an Iron Man that still needs a lot of items, trust me, dude, enjoy it. Because once you get all the items, it's going to be like, oh, well, I guess that was all that. Uh, there's some, I don't know what it is, bro. It's just there's always something nice when you still have to go for some items that you don't have yet. But yeah, I'm assuming UIM would probably just start with CG, which seems to be the typical thing to do these days. And actually, I haven't really thought about it, but that Valamore armor from Barrows 2... I'm, it's probably storable in POH, is it not? If it is, then that's pretty big for UIM. I mean, it is pretty... I, I think it's... Yeah, it, I would say it's probably worth going for in terms of like mid-level stuff. Endgame, obviously not really, but if it is storable... Which, should I look it up? Is it? I don't really know. If it's not storable now, it might be later on. Sometimes they update it later. Though it does degrade, so I'm wondering if it is storable, actually. It might it might not. I don't know if things that degrade can be stored normally, so maybe not. I know, like, Void can be broken if you, like, get PK'd, I think, for it, isn't it? And then you have to pay to, like, fix it, but yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's got to be, like, CG, TOA, and Chambers, pretty much, since you have the CG gear, it's good enough. Uh, and then Zora obviously, is probably still worth, I mean, to get at least a Toxic Trident... 
And then maybe like a blowpipe is still probably worth having, honestly. It's good for TOA as well. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll see. But that's a long way away from now, I think. For now, I'd probably just recommend watching Devious's UIM series. Just so, so great. You know what? He's actually doing okay. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna watch his videos. Who watches that? But I'm, I'm proud of him. He's enjoying it, so I'm happy for him. Anyways, I think that's probably all we have to uh, discuss for today. I'm sure there's more things. I just maybe I should start writing things down so I can remind myself what I want to talk about. I'm sure there was more. I just there's so many things I've changed the past like a long time. I just don't even know what to discuss. Like we never never discussed the the J mod stuff that happened a while ago with the, with the what is that 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 girl whatever. I don't want to say her name, bro. Uh, that stuff. I think he got fired. I'm pretty sure what happened there, bro. Um, yeah, there's a lot of crap, but. Oh, well, uh, yeah, you know, Defy stuff happened recently. What the hell? Anyways, I'm sure I'll see you guys soon with a Hard Cryer Man progress video, hopefully. And I'm working on the next one. And the collection log video, who knows how long it'll be for that one to be out. I need to actually go and do content to be able to release that. But as of right now, I have some footage, I'm sure. And uh, the UIM is UIMing, but not right now. So thank you guys for listening. If you did watch the entire thing, I don't know, give it a like. I'm so tired, bro. It's freaking 3 a.m. And I kind of fixed my sleeping schedule as of recently. I've been going to bed at like 3 or 4. So I'm going to go shower and go to bed probably. Goodbye and uh, see you guys in the next video. And if this gets a 1,000 likes, which is not even that much to actually ask for, I will consider releasing another ramble within this year. That's right. 2024, one more ramble could happen if it gets a 1,000. Thank you. Goodbye.